Today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to paint your motorbike helmet. Simple enough really, but we go through the steps and hopefully you can obviously benefit from this video and paint your old helmet. So, first of all, what I did was, I took off the visor, okay? And with my visor, it was the covers, put, keep it on the visor or whatever you wanted to call it. They were a bit shabby, so what I had to do was super glue those. So when I'm painting the helmet, I'm gonna sand down a bit of the super glue and then paint these as well. The, the only other thing I did was to take off the vent guard. So that was simple, that just popped off and it's obviously gonna pop back in, right? So with this helmet, I have stickers on it and you can see by the state of it, it's like who the fuck wants this shit? Anyway, I have a few scratches and stuff, so I'm gonna have to sand those down. And I'll be going through that with you in a while. So first thing, I'm going to try to use a hairdryer to heat up the glue and then take off these helmets. And if that doesn't work, obviously you're going to have to sand down the stickers. So I'll get back to you when I've tried to get rid of all the stickers. Right guys, we have got rid of all these stupid stickers, yeah? And if you can see here, you're left with a lot of uh, residue from the glue, obviously. And what we want to do next, right, is we're going to sand this down because we don't want any of this shine, right? Because the paint won't stick if it's shiny because it's too smooth a surface. So we're going to sand this down as much as we can. But you don't want to use too high of a sandpaper, of course, because what's going to happen is you're going to ruin the whole surface of the helmet. So. I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you outside and I'm going to show you what grit sandpaper I'm using and I'll just show you how to do it. And then we're going to paint the gun and then leave it to dry. Of course. Right, let's get to it. Guys, I forgot to say that what we're going to do before we do any of the sandpapering, sorry, is we're going to cover this, right? <clears throat> we're going to cover the whole visor here because we don't want any paint going on the inside because it's going to mess up the interior of the helmet, okay? So we're gonna just cover all this. You can use masking tape, you can use duct tape, whatever suits, right? But I, I, I'd suggest now, you don't have to listen to me, but I'd suggest not using too strong of a tape, right? Because all we want to do is cover it up, that's it. You don't want to use too strong of a tape and then maybe ripping your interior, okay? So like, that's just my advice, right? But everyone's their own person, yeah? Right. So, I'm going to get back to you when I put some sellotape over this. I would use masking tape, but it's Christmas at the moment, so there's a lot of sellotape around the place. So we're going to use some of that. Yeah. <coughs> Hello, guys. Right. Sorry if there's any wind noise or anything like that, because I am outside, and I am living in Ireland, okay? So, cold and windy. So I decided to wear a shirt. Well done, me. Yay. Basically, I have covered up in sellotape. It looks like fucking tin foil. If you look closely, it's sellotape, right? Just to remind you, cover the vents as well, okay? Because you don't want spray paint getting in in there, right? And a lot of people might actually cover all of this, but I'm not going to bother, okay? Because I'm a lazy fucker. Um, and then I covered, covered holes here and here, just to make sure they don't, paint doesn't get in the big holes. All this crack, right? So, I'm going to show you what sandpaper I'm going to use, and I'm going to show you it after I sand down using each sandpaper. So, we have 320 grit sandpaper, yeah? If you can see that there, yeah? So, I'm just going to sand the helmet down with that. Hopefully it'll look quite nice. It'll, not nice, but it'll look grey, right? So you want a grey, dull, non-shiny colour. That's what you're looking for, yeah? So that's what I mean by nice. Hopefully it'll look like that, right? So, I'll do this and I'll get back to you guys. Now, guys, I went ahead and I sanded with the 600 grit. No, sorry, 320, my apologies. I did 320, right? And that looked nice and great. And then I just went ahead, right? And I just did the 600 grit was the second one I used. And then 1200 grit, right? And this is the kind of dullness we were looking for, yeah? No blackness, right? But what you need to do is you need to just give it a wipe down after you sand it, yeah? Because there's going to be a bit of resid residue. So that's grand. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the painting. Which is the tough part. Right guys. So there's the helmet ready to prep. And I'm going to show you how you spray paint. Right. Basically you want even strokes. Okay. And you want light strokes. Why well, you want even strokes obviously is so the paint 
it looks like one tone you don't have like streaks or any of that crap going on right and why you want light streaks or light strokes is because you don't want any drips you don't want the paint running and it looking like you have drip marks everywhere okay right so I'm just gonna paint this and then you're gonna see when it's done so when I talk to you next this helmet is gonna be sexy